When I was 14 years old, I decided to be very bold in my life and I asked the first girl out on a date. And I got badly rejected. I mean, really bad. And for a long time, I couldn't let go of that experience. For a long time, I couldn't forgive myself for making that mistake as I saw it and it defined me for the next coming years. I mean, I became very shy and very insecure and I didn't believe in myself. But over time, I learned how to forgive myself and move on. And in this video, I'm going to break down how you can forgive yourself for past mistakes and move on from the past. That's what's coming up right now. Hi, and welcome back to the Conscious Leaders TV. I'm Yannick Matzner, I'm your leadership and business coach and I'm here on this channel. I mentor you every single day to be a great leader and go after the life you truly want. But if you're not subscribed, you're not seeing my videos and I can't mentor you. So go ahead, do it right now, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to forgive yourself for past mistakes and move on from the past and create a better future. I mean, this is so vitally important that we forgive ourselves for past mistakes or past experiences to let go of that past and create a better future. I had to learn this myself and let's jump right in what you can do. And the most important thing we need to do is we need to disidentify from our past. So you are not your past. You are not your past. And I know this sign could be a little bit confusing, but you are not your past and we need to let go of who you think you are. I mean, I had such a hard time to forgive myself for being rejected, for apparently not being good enough, for not being worthy of love. That was my interpretation of the past. But we need to realize we are not our past. Our past doesn't define us and we can change at any moment, at any time, just like that. But if we over identify with who we were in the past, we're never going to be able to change because we think like, this is who I am. But it's not. Your past doesn't define you. It doesn't define your future and you couldn't do anything in your life if you allow yourself to do it. I mean, for a long time, I defined myself by that past rejection and I became very shy and very insecure and my past always dictated who I was becoming in the current moment. Because this is one truth. You can change at any moment. I mean, every single moment you're deciding who you're going to be again and, and again and again. You're deciding again and again and again to be who you're going to be. But most people never change because they make that same choice based on the same past over and over and over again. As did I. I, I mean, I made a choice. I'm going to be shy and insecure until a moment when I decided, no, I'm not going to let my past define me any longer. I mean, it is a single choice that can change your life. And it was for me. I decided I'm going to be different because frankly, I hate my life. I don't want to live like this anymore. I want to be open. I want to be confident. I want to believe in myself. And that past isn't serving me at all. I mean, it is not serving me at all. So I'm going to reframe it. I'm going to see it as something that is happening for me to fuel my growth. And I'm choosing to be different. So we need to let go of who we think we are, like I am shy and insecure, and create a better future. So this is the most important thing. You need to disidentify from your past. You are not your past. Those were past choices you made, but you can do make different choices. You can decide who you're going to be at any moment. Then secondly, what I want you to do is acknowledge your good intent. I mean, if you did some mistakes, if you did something and it didn't work out, if something, someone rejected you or something, I want you to give yourself credit for the good intent that you had. Maybe you did hurt someone, but you didn't intend to. I mean, you had good intentions, right? You're a good person. So give yourself credit for that. Not always are we going to get everything right. So for example, sometimes I, say kind of stupid things like to my girlfriend once I kind of hurt her, although I didn't want to. And I had a good intent. And 
Afterwards, I still felt bad about it. I mean, I said something that was really hurtful to her and I didn't intend to do so. And she was, go I mean, she got quickly over it. That didn't matter to her that much. But for an entire day, I was beating myself up because I said something to her that hurt her. And I didn't want that. But what I had to realize is that I had good intentions. I wanted to bring her joy. I wanted to bring her my presence. And I said something that I'm not really proud of, but I had good intentions and I can move forward and do better in the future. I mean, if you're holding on to the past and you're recreating your past over and over again, you're not doing better in the future. So your past is holding you back rather than you learning from your past, which then is point number three. You need to shift to service. You need to shift to service and I'll explain what I mean. But before I do, make sure that you subscribe down below, hit that notification bell if you like this video and then give it a like and let's shift to a service mindset. I mean, your past can either happen to you, like something that is kind of unpleasant and you're creating it over and over again and you're not learning or you see it as something that is happening for you as a fuel for your growth. And as you are in this video, chances are that you're like part of the second group. Like you see something that happened to you and you want to make it let you grow. You want to be better. You want to change your life. So you are already in that group, but now let's shift to that service mindset. So you learned a lesson you had to learn. I mean, everything in life happens for you. That is a simple truth. And from every single experience, every single mistake, you can learn some lessons that will help you become stronger in the future and then share those lessons with other people. That's the service mindset. You learned the lessons, you did the mistake, you had some experiences and now share them with other people so they then have to do the same mistakes as you do. When you shift to service, it's almost impossible to hold on to the past because you've shifted to a growth mindset. Now you see yourself as like, I'm stronger now. I learned the lesson. I had something to learn in that experience and because you did, you're not seeing your past as something that is negative. You're not judging your past because you know, it happened for me. I took something out of that. And that's, for example, my real strength. Like I wasted seven years of my life being shy and insecure and didn't do anything. I played video games. I watched movies. But that time, those seven years brought me to a moment at 21 years old, where just life couldn't continue this way. I had to be different. I had to choose to have a different life. And because of that, because of that choice, well, my entire life changed and I created a life I could have never imagined. I've outgrown everything that I believe to be possible, but I couldn't be where I am today without that experience. So I have gratitude for that experience because it helped me grow. So shift to a service mindset and then fall in love with where you are going. This is so critically important. If you want to let go of the past, create a future that is bigger and brighter and bolder than you ever thought possible. I mean, if you love where you're going, if you love the life you're creating, it's almost impossible to hold on to the past because you have that bright of a vision in front of you that you're running towards. It is impossible to hold on to the past. If you make your future bigger than your past, it is easy to let go of the past and not let it define you. But a few things you need to keep in mind. Well, we need to trust the unknown. So if you want to create a future that is bigger and better than your past, you need to trust in the timing of your path. You need to trust in you. You need to believe in yourself and your ability to figure it all out. I mean, if you don't have that growth mindset, if you feel like it's not working and it's kind of an uphill battle all the time, you're not going to create a better future. So you need to trust in yourself. You need to trust in the unknown because if you want to change your life, well, you need to do things different. And because you're doing things you've never done, well, you're not sure whether it's going to work out. You're not sure when and how your big results, your bright future will happen. 
But one thing you can be sure, it will happen. But I can't tell you when and how. That's just the beauty of creating something that is much bigger and brighter than what you were living today. So that's really vitally important. And you need to understand that self-love is a choice. It is a choice to love yourself unconditionally, which is self-love because if you love yourself conditionally, you're always reliant on outside validation. But if you love yourself fully and unconditionally, well, you need to forgive yourself for past mistakes because they brought you to where you are right now. And if you want to accept yourself fully, you need to also accept your flaws and weaknesses. We all have them. None of us are perfect. And if you want to love yourself, you need to love your imperfections. This is so critically important. And then lastly, very simple, very easy, change your environment. I mean, for a long time, I had been in my hometown where I was bullied, where I was ridiculed, and it always reminded me of my past. It always reminded me of who I thought I was, of being shy and insecure. But once I moved to another city, and I'm not recommending that you move to another city, you can do simple changes in your environment. I'm going to show you how. But um, once I moved to another city, I had a fresh start. I could start from scratch. Nobody knew me and I could be whoever I wanted to be. And at first, I didn't decide to be different because frankly, I, I kind of enjoyed being me. I kind of enjoyed being in that comfort zone of just hiding away from the world. But at some point, it couldn't continue that way. And I had a fresh start to change who I was. So oftentimes, our environment dictates how we feel about ourselves because some places, some people are just reminding us over and over and over again of our past mistakes. And it's impossible to move on because they're always reminding us of the past experiences. So if you want to change your life, if you want to change how you feel about yourself, maybe you need to change something in your apartment. Maybe there's something that reminds you of an ex or some friend who you hurt and it always reminds you of that experience. It always brings up back those emotions. So if you want to change your life, change something in your apartment. Change the people you're surrounding yourself with. I mean, if you're always with the same kind of people and they're like reminding you of who you don't want to be, maybe it's time to upgrade your inner circle, to find some mentors, to find some coaches. You don't need to cut them out entirely. But if you want to upgrade your life, well, upgrade your inner circle and be around people who inspire you to live a greater life rather than who remind you of your past mistakes. This is so simple, but it is so powerful because the space that you're in and the people you're hanging around, they have a certain kind of energy. And over time, that becomes a memory. It's just your body remembers that you did hurt that person, that in this room, this and that happens. Your body remembers it and triggers the same emotions, which means you feel the same things and you think the same thoughts as a result. So if you want to change your life, the simplest thing you can do is to change your environment, anything but change something and you can change how you feel. Your environment is really the driving force behind your life. It's invisible, but it has so much power you, over you until you decide to not let your environment define your life. I mean, this is so vitally important. And down below, there is a self-love playlist, which I want you to watch next because it will deepen the knowledge you gained in this video. It will help you accept yourself fully, openly, unconditionally, and accept all your flaws and weaknesses. I really encourage you to go down below because it has the capacity to change your entire life. And if you want to go so much deeper, Join the Reinvent Yourself Challenge down below. It will change how you see yourself. It will change the energy you feel every single day. And I'll help you develop your inner strength, your inner confidence. So join down below. And until the next time, make sure that you live fully, live openly, and be the leader of your life.